Hey everyone and welcome into the garage and today we are talking sharpies for today's informative tip Tuesdays. So this is going to be how I use sharpies for um, model building, how I use them for lights and window trim. So before we get started, i got to say this is not the best way or the only way or the right, right way to do things. This is just one of the ways I do something and I just want to share that with you guys and maybe you can use it for your model building. So with that let's get to it and let's talk Sharpies. So first we're going to talk about uh, Sharpies for doing the window trim real quick get that out of the way. I'm not going to do a full on how to do it because I think right now you probably know how to do it. My first tip is using a, a the chisel tip sharpies it's going to give you a little bit better control it's going to give you a wider coverage area and overall it's just going to be a little bit easier and better to use versus a normal tip sharpie now obviously for I was doing this for real I'd be a little bit neater with my lines but you get the idea with the, it would be easier if I had if I removed the from the, the parts tree again first tip is using a chisel tip sharpie for um, windows so the next tip we're going to talk about the next way I use sharpies is going to be for lights and there's a few different first up we'll talk about doing red for your for your tail lights on this piece right here on the right or oh, excuse me on the left is to me a, a clear red and then I will do demonstration and we'll cover the we'll do the uh, the left side or the right side The reason why I choose Sharpies for lights over clear paint is one, I feel I get better con better control using a marker or paint pen. I'm sure there's even clear paint pens you could use as well. And two, I think my personal opinion is I think it looks, I think the Sharpie sometimes actually, in some cases, looks better than paint so there you can see it so left is paint right is sharpie in the comments below let me know which one you think looks better now obviously the the, the to me a clear red I use I just kind of put it on real quick I didn't really do a great job so I probably could have done a little bit of better job to make it look better and let me know what you think so that is using for red for taillights I have a dual tip sharpie here that has a fine tip pin, fine tip point on the other end, which is great to help get the, to get into areas that the bigger tip cannot get into. But unfortunately, you still want to keep some clear paint on hand, clear red, clear orange, because there's just going to be places, nooks and crannies and crevices that the sharpie will not be able to get into or fit. So you're going to want to have some clear paint on hand for those times. So now let's talk. Uh, turn signals. There are here. I have two different sharpies. I have orange, and I have a tangerine. Now, I mean, if you look at real cars and you look at the different different makes, manufacturers, models, what turn signal can be. Either, they seem to either be sometimes they're some makes they're more orange, some makes they're more amber. The tangerine actually, to me, kind of represent or uh, is very close to testers turn signal amber paint it has that look to it and obviously the sharpie orange is just you know looks orange so let's get started let's do um, let's do the tangerine first on this side here I've noticed I've come to, to learn with the tangerine it needs a couple of uh, coats to get it to look pretty good and I usually do the both inside and the outside of the lens uh, with the tangerine just to get a 
a nice so there is tangerine let's switch over and now let's do the orange I'll do it on the outside just since I did okay so there you have it there is the orange left side and the tangerine on the right you can tell me which one you think you can tell me if you think the tangerine looks like tester's tar signal amber so again I definitely suggest if you're gonna use sharpies keep both tangerine and orange on hand as well and I suggest try to get ones with the fine tip as well this is they are going to come in handy as well and the other thing the nice thing about sharpies is is if you screw if you screw up and need to start over again all it takes is just a little bit of alcohol on a rag and it can be like it never happened so that's the other nice thing about using a sharpie it is real easy to fix your mistakes but there you have it folks that is sharpies for clear parts thank you so much for watching we'll see you next time mm -hmm.